Hey, this is Felicia from Flickr Film, and today we're going to do a little review on the Low Pro Pro Runner BP350 AW2. Try saying that three times fast. When you're traveling with gear, you want to be as light and compact as possible, and this bag can definitely help you reach that goal. This bag in particular is a part of a series of bags from Low Pro that are designed specifically for travel. In fact, this bag and all of the other bags in the series are designed to the maximum carry on limits. And with the bag itself weighing in at a measly 2.43 kilos, this makes it a good travel bag for most situations. Looking at the exterior of the bag itself, it's made of a really nice looking tough material. I don't believe it's waterproof though. It may be water resistant, but at the bottom of the bag, there is an all weather cover, hidden away in a zip pocket. On the front, you have these straps for holding your tripod. You can get an attachment for the bottom, which is a cup to hold the base of your tripod. And on the top here, there is a hidden strap that you can pull around and clip to hold the head of your tripod to the bag. Moving on, on the front here, you have two quick access pockets, uh, both of which have a tiny mesh pocket in there, as well as this one here, having your keychain. Behind these pockets is your front sleeve pocket. So let's open that one up here. On the front here, you have one single pocket. It's padded and has a Velcro strap at the top. In here, you also have a mesh pocket as well as dedicated pockets to put devices. So this middle one here, I believe is a 10 inch iPad or similar. Uh, and then the back pocket here is for a 13 inch laptop. I have actually been able to squish my 15 inch MacBook Pro in there. Mine is quite large, quite bulky. So it's very, very, very tight fit, but you can still give it a go, especially if you've got a newer laptop. Uh, a 15 inch may fit in there. Just give it a go, try it out. All zippers on the bag are lockable with a standard luggage lock as well, which makes it extra secure. The next compartment is the main compartment of the bag. So as you can see, there are many dividers for all of your gear needs. Right now I'm using this for a documentary, so I do have to put a few bits of sound gear in here. So I've modified these sections here to hold my lapel. Headphones, extra lens, camera goes there, Gorillapod goes there, many extra accessories. Also in this compartment is a extra compartment. A little pull away case that can be completely separate and on its own. It even has a business card or label holder for your name. And on the inside, simply are just two padded pockets and a mesh front. On Lopro's website, I believe that this was designed for hard drive storage. I've been using it for my filters. Typically, the bag will carry one standard size camera as well as up to five lenses, I believe. In the lid of the bag are a few extra pockets. I tend to use these for extra batteries and cables. Uh, at the top here, I've got some audio cables. In the middle here, I've got all my camera batteries. And at the bottom here, I've got some AA batteries for my devices. At the top here, you have your card compartments, which I believe are good, but maybe it could have been better by having a clear mesh pocket so you can see exactly what's inside the pocket. Now, onto the back of the bag. Now, you've got the two back straps here and the padded back here, as well as a bottom strap, which is for your waist. That is completely removable. Obviously, I didn't just rip it off the bag. So I removed mine because I don't really use them, but it still is comfortable. Even though I don't secure it via my waist, these shoulder straps are incredibly soft on your shoulders. And I found that they don't dig into my bony shoulders, which is fantastic. There's also a chest strap here for extra security. One thing I have found with this design is it's not really designed for petite people like myself. But as far as backpacks go, I'm still finding this very comfortable. Even though I am a petite size and these straps are not necessarily designed for me, I still find that I'm not getting too sore carrying my gear. In addition to all the features we just said, there are also several handles on the bag. So there is one at the top, which is amazing, but there is also one at the side, which I think is even better. Especially if you're trying to carry it and put it into an overhead locker. Yes. Especially if you're short and trying to do that, because yeah, that's me all the time. Overall, this bag is light and compact, and it fits a hell of a lot of gear in it, which makes it really good for a travel bag. There is one thing I would like to say about it though. If you do end up packing it completely to its brim, it still won't be carry on weight. Watch out for the weight, guys. I had to pack a few lenses into my check-in luggage because I couldn't carry them on the plane. I also had to check in my laptop. Just be conscious of the weight that's going into the bag. Even though the bag is light and compact and you can fit a lot of gear in it, you still may have to put some gear in your check-in luggage. 
Anyway, I hope you liked my review. I'm gonna get out there and start the day. I've got a very busy day ahead of me. As with all videos, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next Sunday.